Hello and welcome. Welcome if you are new here and welcome back if you've been with me for a while. I really do appreciate you all. Uh, ignore the thing that my hair is doing today. It's just a mess. I washed it yesterday and put like zero product in it. So it's just kind of there. <laughs> Today, uh, we are doing a BoxyCharm versus BoxyCharm, and it is December's versus uh, January's box. And this is the basic box, the $25 box. So we will get into that. I also am sitting on December's premium box. I'm waiting for my January's premium box because it came so late. Uh, I don't know why they do that as a habit. I, to me, that's a little crazy, but I'm, I mean, I'm sure they do it just to get a couple extra dollars in but like as soon as i ordered which was at the very tail end of december they sent me the december boxes and i don't prefer that um i wish they would just wait and give me the next box because you know by then it's so late so anyway that's why i'm doing a versus box versus a box because I got them both and it was just way too late for me to open the December boxes. So I thought I'd wait. Anyway, there are a couple of giveaways going on. Those will be linked down below. I will try to keep my head angled since I am wearing my glasses today and my ring light is on. So I will try to keep my head angled to where that is. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it bothers the hell out of me. So, and I always forget that that happens when I wear my glasses. So let's first get into December's box. And I'll go ahead and crack this one open too. And we could actually do like, which box is better? Which is something I rarely do. Usually, anytime I've ever done like box versus box in the past, it's just opening up, taking a peek and seeing. We never actually really discuss which box is better. But I mean, we could definitely do that today. So I'm pretty sure that this one is January or February's. This is December's box. <laughs> Ah, keeping track, man, of the days and the months is absolutely insane. So I open it up and it is bubbles and glitz. And this is what I see. So I did get a paper that tells me everything that's in it. I can never remember what does and what doesn't. I think sometimes I do get these and sometimes I don't. And I think a lot of the times I don't get these. I prefer them because I'm not a huge like electronic person. So for me to sit here and like look on my phone to try to find the prices for these. It's just too much work, just way too much work. Okay, so I'm seeing repeats in here already. Not happy with that. Um, so I'm already gonna say that probably January's box is better. <clears throat> I own these, got them from BoxyCharm probably a year ago, uh, Luxie brushes. So I will actually throw these in a giveaway, sorry keep my head tilted. I will throw these in a giveaway. These are good brushes, but I own them. <clears throat> what? Of course, I don't remember them being that price. These are $45. I would never pay $45 for a brush set. You know, I think they probably do that just for these boxes. Say that they're worth more than they actually are, so... I mean, especially when it comes to brushes, you know, I question palettes sometimes because sometimes I get palettes in here and I know that that's what they cost because I physically bought them. Like for instance, this, I know that this is either 27 or $29, <clears throat> 27. It's the more recent ones that are 29, but I own this and I paid for it. So I know it's $27. So I know that this is accurate, but for me, I just feel like they inflate the prices of brushes, especially. Because I mean, you can go to a store and you can get a nice set of brushes for like 10 bucks and more than just five. So <clears throat> anyway, these will go in a giveaway and so will this because I own it. Uh, I'm not gonna open it. Well, I guess I, it's not like sealed. So I will show you the colors if you haven't seen it. I don't know. It seems like BoxyCharm has been doing nothing but sending these palettes. It's a really pretty palette, but like I said, I own it. So I don't need a second one. And I would love to pass this along to somebody that will get used of it. The Huda palettes, I, I just love the formula. I think the formula is awesome. I actually collect all of these. So there's only one that I don't own and it is the browns. I do not own the all neutral palette that is all browns. 
Oh, and there's a bunch more that have come out that I don't own either, just because I didn't stay current in 2020. I don't know how many people actually did stay current in 2020, but uh, I know that there are a bunch of new ones I got. I got the neon ones, and then I got a couple of the pastel ones, but I didn't get all of the pastel ones. All right, moving on. The next thing I am pulling out is Tarte Maneater Mascara. I own it. I will pass this along. That retails for $23. Is there, there's extra stuff in here. One, two, three, four. This is, yeah, this is regular BoxyCharm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven products in here. Is that, maybe my free gift? I don't know. I Okay, so the next is the Ciate London Editor's Palette. I am also pretty sure that I either own this or I've gotten it and given it away. Let me look. Yeah. Yeah, I actually put this in a giveaway at one point because uh, it wasn't really my cup of tea. Or maybe it was. Maybe I own it. Maybe it's Maybe it's in my palettes in there. I don't know. I recognize it. Maybe I just gave it away. I don't know. Anyway, this is what the colors look like. They're pretty. They are pretty. Uh, there are a lot of neutrals in here, but I am down for the, I don't know if those are considered shimmer or glitter. These ones that are like that. It does have a full size mirror. Um, I want to call them glitter, but then I also like deal with like real glitter eyeshadows. So you get my drift. Um, so I think those might be considered more shimmer or maybe pressed. Maybe these are considered pressed. I don't know. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have an MRI that has to be done on my brain Saturday. So bear with me. Um, so I don't know. I am actually going to see if I own this and if I don't, I might actually keep that one. Okay, so I think this was my free gift. Sorry. I think this was my free gift. Uh, I must have picked this as a free gift. So I don't remember, but we're gonna go with that because it's not on the card. Okay, so the next thing I am pulling out, the last three things in here is a Glamnetic Baby Girl Lashes and Black Liquid Magnet Liner. It retails for $63. I am going to keep that because I want to try. So here are the lashes because I want to try magnetic lashes to see if they are any easier. Now I know that this is the eyeliner magnet opposed to just the magnetic lashes, but I don't own anything like this. So I do want to try these. And then uh, the last thing is a uh, Mac matte lipstick and I will probably just pass this along. I am not a huge fan of MAC products. It's just not something I ever really got into. I know you, MAC used to be like all the rage back when first, like it was like, I don't know, I wanna, I wanna call it like the grandmother of high-end products. <laughs> it's been around so long, uh, but Mac is just not something I ever got into. Uh, when I actually got in to higher end makeup that you know wasn't just drugstore, uh, as an old lady, honestly, I was in my early 30s, and by then there were so many other products other than Mac that I just avoided Mac. Um, but this retails for $19, and plus it's a neutral color, so I will just toss that in a giveaway for you guys. I know a lot of people love Mac. I do, but just not my cup of tea. Okay, so that was December's. Let's get into December's. Let's get into um let's get into January, shall we? So I open it up and this is what I see. And yay, I got a card in this one too. So there's my card. There are my products. The first thing I am pulling out is by Bali Balm, Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. Oh, I am so down for lip balms. Um, that is my jam. I've never seen this before. This is new. $33 for a lip balm. Are you insane? <laughs> I'm 
mean, I'll use it. Don't get me wrong. I'll definitely use it. Sweet orange and coconut. And that sounds like it's right up my alley too. But gee, many Christmas. $33. Okay, keeping it. Um, I am almost positive I got to pick this. So this is a pure, God, come on. There we go. Pure four in one. And um, it is a tinted moisturizer. I love tinted moisturizers. And I'm always looking for a tinted moisturizer that I love. Currently, I have been sticking with the uh, First Aid Beauty tinted moisturizer. I absolutely love that. Um, unpopular belief. <laughs> I do not like uh, the It Cosmetics CC or BB cream. Those are not my jam. I feel like they're thick and greasy and it's just not my thing. But I really like the um, First Aid Beauty. And so I've been sticking with that. And when I saw this as a choice, I picked it because I would like to branch out a little bit. I I kind of get scared on branching out on actual like face products because I do have sensitive skin. But uh, I am looking forward to trying it. So there is that. Uh, that retails for $35. The next thing I am pulling out here is Apple and Balm Glow Lip Mask. Wow. Okay. I'm down for that too. I've never seen this. This retails for $25. And I'm always down for lip. I mean, usually I stick to two lip masks and that is um, Laneige, the Laneige lip mask and also um, Lush Honey Trap. But I look forward to trying, I mean, lip products are my jam. They really are. Not lipsticks necessarily, but lip products, lip glosses, lip balms, chapsticks. Oh my God, I collect so many of them. But so far, you guys, this is the better box for me. It really is. I'm keeping, so far I'm keeping three out of three items that I've gotten. So this was the, um, okay, let's try this again. Uh, my data is full apparently on my phone, so I had to go through and delete some stuff. Uh, so let me try to get through this. So again, for the fourth time, this is the repeat item that I found in here. This will probably just go into a giveaway. Uh, I just, I have so many skincare products that I just, I don't have enough time in a day to get through them all. But Pharmacy is a good brand and this retails for $28. So I'm not mad at that at all. And then last but not least is a palette. Ciate London, the Velvet Palette. And this retails, oh, I hear something jiggling around in there. This retails for $30. Please don't let anything be broken. I like the name of it. I hope it coincides with the colors or something because that would be super cool. Packaging is pretty. Wow. Looks like someone stuck their finger in that one, but these are gorgeous. I will 100% keep these. Look at those shimmers. I am so in love. Here, let me even try to turn this light off so you can see that better. Look at that. I mean, and these are more neutral, but gosh, they are so pretty. I don't know if that's translating properly or not on the screen, uh, but in person that actually looks more silver with like a purple undertone to it. That's really, really pretty. And that gold, I love wearing gold on my eyes. It makes my blue pop, like just insane. Uh, these are really pretty. I will actually keep these because I'm always a sucker for beautiful palettes. So that is that. Um, hands down, hold on, let me turn my light back on. There we go. Hands down, I would say that January's box is the better box, 100%. Uh, one repeat item, and then I'm keeping all four others. So I think that that's great. Uh, December's box, not too impressed with. Like I said, almost all repeats. Uh, 
I think I'm keeping the lashes. Oh, and the Ciate London palette. I am keeping that possibly if I don't already own it. I have to look. Anyway, that is that. What did you guys think? Did you guys think that December's box was better? Did you think that January's box was better? Let me know down in the comments. Um, you guys probably like December's box better because I'm giving it away. So, <laughs> so uh, you may be one of the lucky winners. Uh, I will just toss this stuff in the 3K giveaway boxes uh, because you know, the January, the New Year's boxes are full. Um, but uh, there, I still have a little bit of room in those boxes in the 3K giveaway. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for spending some time with me today and uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.